Hello traders, welcome again to this series of educational videos that FXCM has for you. My name is David Londoño, I'm a trader and a market analyst. And today's video is about a liquidity asset trading pattern. So first of all, let's just start saying that with this strategy, we find the liquidity in the form of other highs and other lows. Why is that? Because as we can see if a trade was placed, for example, it says, for instance, that a trade was placed just right here in this older low so all the buyers in here place their stop loss below this low so then the market makers hunters or stop hunters will try to find this liquidity or to run this liquidity by taking the stops that were placed just below this low For example in this high before this cells were placed in order with the strength enough to take this older low well then right here above this older high the stop losses were placed in order to go for these lows right so that's why we find liquidity in the form of older highs and older lows and not just any older high or any older low so we go to top down one where where we make the top down analysis we go from yearly quarterly, monthly buy side or sell side liquidity in the form of older high, the yearly high or older low, the quarterly low. And we can go either from that to the weekly high, weekly low, daily, or even sessions if you are an intraday trader. So if, for example, you're a swing trader, you want to find your information in the monthly charts to see the yearly highs and lows or even information for decades. So in order to see this, I want to show you to make an example with the sessions liquidity. Right here, we're using a simple indicator of sessions. We have Asian, London, and New York session and we can see like right here all this high the Asian session was also the higher high of this entire day the day is between the gray lines so this is where the day starts the day ends the next day starts the day ends so we can see that this was the daily high and also the sessions high so after look how the top down and down to top works in order to go for the liquidity right so we can see how the New York session on this day, it captures the London lows low. So this is where the sell side liquidity was for the London session right here. So we took sessions liquidity in order to take daily's liquidity. So after that, and after we saw the change on the structure again from bearish to bullish, then our target was to be the daily liquidity. It was taken and see how it beautifully closed the candles below. It can go above, of course, it's captured liquidity, but the importance is let's see how the bodies, not the candles, the candles makes the screaming, but the bodies shows where the money is, right? So we can see how the bodies just close below this liquidity just right here. It captures what the day was set for. And again, it captures on New York, captures sessions liquidity. There was a change in the structure. Again, with change in the structure after the liquidity was taken. And then the aim for the daily liquidity again that was in the form of the London sessions high. We can see, of course, this is related with the order flow or the institutional order flow. It's also known as because we can see that right here, the lows are being respected, showing us this bullish movement that was started here, actually, was in this change of the structure. After that, we had what is known as a break of a structure, but it was not a change in the structure. This was a capture of liquidity. That's why it's important to know where the liquidity is in the forms of sessions or days or weeks. It's not about any high or any low. So after the capture, when we are bullish and we change again, showing that this is not a change in the structure, but a capture in the liquidity. So we know that it is most likely to keep capturing daily liquidity as it was doing here. This is how I use the liquidity as a trading pattern. I would like to share more about this in future videos. If you like it, comment below. And um, for now, this is what I had for you guys. So if you like, don't forget to subscribe and share it. For now, I'll have to say goodbye again. Wish you good luck and a good trading session.